Here's how you can earn more views by improving your YouTube thumbnails and creating the right kind of content that your audience is looking for using data from TubeBuddy's Click Magnet. Hello TubeBuddies! When it comes to earning views on YouTube, showing up in YouTube search is only part of the battle. A crucial part to earning views on YouTube is creating the right type of content and crafting a good thumbnail. With TubeBuddy's level legend feature Click Magnet, we help you do just that. Want to give Click Magnet a try but you don't have a legend level license for TubeBuddy? Keep watching this video until the end so you can learn how to get a TubeBuddy free trial. This is also part one on our Click Magnet series. If you would like to learn more about this tool or how to use TubeBuddy in general to help you earn more views, subscribe and ring that bell today. Focusing back on Click Magnet, this tool helps you earn views by showing you what your thumbnails are doing well, where those thumbnails could be improved, and combining data from YouTube analytics and using our recommendations at TubeBuddy to help you improve your YouTube thumbnails. Thumbnails are important because you can rank in YouTube search, but it's your thumbnail that catches a viewer's attention and makes them click through to watch your YouTube video. With Click Magnet, we want to take your YouTube thumbnails from standard and turn them into YouTube Click Magnets, helping your videos earn more views by getting people to click through to watch the videos. To do this, let's head over to YouTube. To start using Click Magnet, click on the TubeBuddy drop-down menu. Under Extension Tools, you'll see Click Magnet. Click it, and it will launch a pop-up screen for Click Magnet. It's important to note, at the time of this video, that Click Magnet is in the beta stage, and we're looking for your help to make this tool better. To give feedback, click the link at the bottom of this tool. If you've watched this long into the video and want to help us test out this feature and get a discount to a legend level license, use code CHANNELBUDDY at checkout to get an additional 20% off your TubeBuddy license. But again, keep watching until the end of this video to get a TubeBuddy free trial if you've never had a free trial before. Once you're ready, click on the blue Get Started button. So Click Magnet can scan your channel and get data about your YouTube thumbnails. Once it loads the data, there are four sections to focus on in TubeBuddy's Click Magnet. Power Rankings, Element Inspector, CTR Opportunities, and Advanced Analytics. Let's focus on Power Rankings. Power Rankings show you the top performing videos in YouTube Search, YouTube Browse, and YouTube Suggested. If your goal is to grow your channel, you want to focus on making more videos similar to these top ranking videos. Again, we're going to go into this page a little bit deeper later, but you can select your traffic source from the drop down here. We'll leave it to all. Then you can see where we rank your videos, which video it is, its metrics, which are explained here. Green equals good, red equals needs improvement. The metric numbers are your click-through rate overall for that video, the watch time total for the video, and the amount of clicks. Again, the idea of this page is to help you know what's working, what could be improved, and where you should consider making more content. Let's head back by clicking back here. Now, let's take a look at Element Inspector. Elements Inspector helps us determine what is actually making people click on your titles and thumbnails. Elements Inspector takes a look at your last 50 videos to determine these data points. We let you know if thumbnails with faces in them or without do better. At TubeBuddy, all of our thumbnails have faces, so we don't have that kind of data. But here is an example of thumbs with and without a face. If we wanted to test the performance of a thumbnail without a face, we could run an A-B test, and that's easy to do by clicking here. However, we're going to move on to emotion. As we explain here, we want to know which emotions when you show faces on your thumbnails drives the most clicks. We use Amazon's image recognition software to tell you your emotions. Please keep in mind that Amazon's image recognition software isn't always 100% accurate, but it does a pretty great job. Of course, if you have feedback, be sure to leave feedback by clicking submit down below. Using that software though, we recognize for us at TubeBuddy, common happy faces do the best, followed by surprise faces. You can see more emotions by sliding down here. You can also see some thumbnail examples by hovering over each bar on the graph that has data. It then gives you a breakdown of how the percentage was calculated. Continuing on in faces is sizes. We break down faces into four categories. A long shot like this, a medium shot like this, or a close-up shot like this. We also show you options for mixed size faces. If you're confused on what this looks like, we show you more info here. Next, we'll take a look at text versus no text. This lets you know if having text or not having text is effective or not in your YouTube thumbnails. Again, for a more in-depth look, be sure to subscribe. Next, we show you which words in your titles drive the most clicks. It's not always about the thumbnail, and this does a good job showing you which words drive the most clicks when they're in your YouTube titles. Now let's take a look at CTR opportunities. 
which shows you which videos are performing well in terms of watch time, impressions, average view durations, etc., but are not getting clicks. This means that their performance is great, but their click-through rate is low. This means it is a high chance if you A-B test and come up with a better thumbnail that these videos can earn more views. We even made it easy for you to make an A-B test by clicking here. This lets you know what to improve so you can have the potential to earn more views with a better performing thumbnail. Finally, let's look at advanced analytics. Advanced analytics lets you view a variety of advanced metrics and data, such as the amount of clicks and impressions, views, average view duration, and average percentage watch time per impression, and total watch time, CTR, and once again, our power rankings. On the left-hand side, you'll see three drop-down menus. This lets you decide the time frame of your video, either from its lifetime by default, or the video's first 24 hours up to the first 30 days. Traffic sources lets you see how your videos perform in the different traffic sources in YouTube analytics. The sources being search, suggested, browse, and playlist. Finally, Minimum impressions helps you see how many people YouTube have shown a video to and you know the performance of your videos when shown to that amount of people. For this example, I want to see which video did best in search for the lifetime option. Then I want to see which video in search got at least 10,000 impressions or 10,000 people to see the video. Finally, I want to sort the videos by power rank, but you can sort any of these videos by clicking here. At the top, if I want to see which video has had the most clicks, I'll select clicks but I want to see the power ranking, so I'll select that. Click Magnet shows you which videos performed the best in search over the lifetime with 10K impressions and which videos performed the worst. Once you have this data, you can export it as a CSV. Click Magnet is a powerful set of tools that can answer questions like, do YouTube thumbnails with my face in them do better? Which videos are people clicking through the most in a specific traffic source on YouTube? and help you improve your YouTube channel's thumbnails. In part two, we're gonna be covering power rankings, a crucial part to the suite of tools in Click Magnet. So be sure to subscribe and ring that bell to be notified on when that video drops. I'm Andrew Cam from TubeBuddy, and we hope this tool helps you earn more views by turning your thumbnails into Click Magnets.